publisher, and I think this figure is so important, I'm going to talk you through how to read it. Um, this figure has to do with the fact that most students who earn a bachelor's degree expect to finish that degree within about four years, but the reality is that a lot of students actually take closer to six years to finish their degree, and when we look at college search websites or even college websites themselves, the graduation rates they're displaying are often six-year rates, and people don't realize that. So our team wanted to look at whether it matters if you use a four-year rate or a six-year rate um, to understand how many students are graduating from a college. So on this figure, every dot represents an individual college or university, and how far to the left or right the dot falls represents the four-year graduation rate at that college, and then how high the dot falls represents the six-year graduation rate. So a dot pretty much on the line, like dot A, is a school that has very similar four-year versus six-year rates. But things start to get interesting if we compare, for example, dots A and B have very similar four-year rates, but really different six-year rates. Dot B is much higher than dot A. And then if we look at C versus D, those other two dots that are called out on the graph, those are schools that have very similar six-year rates, but really different four-year rates. And so the differences between these rates really highlight why it's so important for students and families to look at both the four-year and the six-year graduation rates when they're trying to understand college outcomes.